Today we are headed to Cragside Estate and Gardens. This is a place my husband Ian has been wanting to visit for a long time. But in addition to showing you Cragside, I also wanted to show you Rothbury, the town adjacent to it, and the place that we stayed for the night. Rothbury is a small town with lots of amazing history, which I really won't be able to recap for you and do justice to, but this area of England in Northumberland, near the Scottish border, was an area of great border dispute for hundreds of years. And in fact, Rothbury used to be in Scotland, but now it's in England and the Scottish border is 10 or 12 miles away. So let's go look around the town center. I'm taking the little secret passageway from our Airbnb up on the hill down into the town center. One thing I love about Britain is how you can go to different areas and each one really has its own architectural vernacular. And you go to a small town or village like this and it will look different just because of the building materials and the style of architecture. So here in Northumberland, we have dark gray stone that's used. The buildings are tall and have these pointed gables. So many buildings with such character. This is the pub where we ate dinner last night. At the Turk's Head, we had lasagna, which does break my rule for not ordering Italian food unless I'm at an Italian restaurant, but it just looked like the best thing on the menu. It came with a nice little salad and delicious garlic bread, and we ordered some mixed veg on the side, because you know we are real healthy eaters until it comes to pudding. This is the first sticky toffee pudding I ordered during what will heretofore be referred to as the summer of the STP. In my upcoming STP video, you can see how it stacks up to all the other countless sticky toffee puddings I consumed over the summer. There are several great restaurants and pubs in town. This is one of the newer ones, Buick's. And you can always tell when a restaurant has a bit of a cheeky vibe by the things they say on their signs. I just love the texture and the color palette of the stone in these buildings. It's captivating. And here's the bridge over the Cockett River. I believe this is the town hall, which is called the Jubilee Institute. So one challenge of never having Wi-Fi or strong enough cell signal is that I can't confirm that the Jubilee Institute from 1887 was named such for Queen Victoria's something or other Jubilee. To fact check that later. And it was later renovated and reopened by the Prince of Wales in 2006. This is the Armstrong Cross, and it was formed out of sandstone obtained from the quarry at Cragside, which I showed at the end of last week's video. The monument was placed here in Rothbury in 1902 to honor the lives of Lord William Armstrong, who died in 1900, and his wife, Lady Margaret Armstrong. It is located on the site of the ancient Rothbury Market Cross, which became the base of the font in the nearby parish church, which I will show you in a minute. Looks like the wee little devil's door. Which you know I love looking at those if you've watched any of my prior church videos. Now let's go find the front door and see if we can get in. Please keep these doors shut to prevent bird access. 
parts of this font date back to the 8th century. Different sides of the font depict different stories. The ascension of Christ, Satan and the fall, and then the Saxon knot work patterns, which are a consistent theme throughout. This window shows St. Michael and St. George, and this one features the Good Samaritan along with the Beatitude, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. This row of cottages is called Armstrong Cottages. It was built in 1896 near the workhouse of Rothbury. It is a row of 12 alms houses, so basically poor houses built for people who had to work in the workhouse. It was built by William Armstrong of Cragside in memory of his mother. And even though the architectural style is very different, it reminds me of the fishermen's widow's cottages we saw in Varian, Cornwall. If you haven't seen my video of Varian, I hope you check it out. Something that's really seen in the Northeast of England and not so much in other areas of Britain is the red tile roofs. One thing I love about small British towns is that many still have the little shops where you can go to get your bread at the baker, meat at the butcher, etc. This is not Texas, land of the giant supermarket and Walmart superstores, one per every mile you drive. Here are photos of a peek inside a few of those shops. The rhubarb cakes I really wanted to try. These scones that looked amazing and very affordable. And I was surprised to see Mrs. Darlington's because that is the brand of lemon curd we have available near our home in Texas. Brits are always banging on about how delicious British sausages are, so I had to show the local offerings here in Rothbury. From Northumbrian sausage, Rothbury sausage, and the Cragside Cracker. And allegedly, the Stornoway Black Pudding is award-winning. But y'all know I ain't touching this stuff. Not again, anyway. If you've watched my English breakfast and Scottish breakfast videos, which I will link in the description, you'll know why. And are you surprised to see all the exotic meats that the local butcher in this little town had on offer? I was. Here's the Italian restaurant in town called La Mensa. You have to be a genius to eat here and we didn't pass the IQ test, sadly. Here is my handsome hubby in front of the Airbnb where we stayed. The host was amazing and we absolutely loved staying here. I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to inquire about staying there sometime. Now let's show you what it looked like inside. So here is our Airbnb and this right here is the reason we rented this Airbnb because it has this huge kind of floor to ceiling window looking out over the back garden. And here's the little eating area and the little kitchen and the sitting area and the TV and and here is the shower room. Looks very modern and updated and nice. And here is the bedroom, which looks very comfortable. These lovely rhododendrons were near the driveway of our Airbnb. This is just a taste of the countless roadies we saw at Craigside. So this is my not so subtle reminder that you need to go watch that video of Craigside if you haven't seen it yet.
Thanks so much for watching this video and do something good in the world today.